Well, how's it going everybody? Hope you're all keeping well. It's Connor here. So um, I thought I'd jump on and just uh, sort of continue on from like a session I did before. So if you don't remember about a week or two ago, I did a little walk around. I did um, some facts about Belfast that um, some of you found quite interesting. So I thought I'd continue on that and try and do a couple more over the next coming weeks. So um, this one in particular is about two quite famous people that uh, lived in Belfast. Um, around the early 1900s or so, okay, so I'll get cracking with that. So the first one is Maxim Litvinov, and I've got my notes here, okay, so he was a foreign minister for Joseph Stalin. Um, he actually taught in Jaffa Elementary School, which is no longer around anymore, um, but he came over in the late 1800s, I believe, because there was a, a pogrom uh, against the, the Jewish people that were in Russia at the time. So he fled over to Belfast, taught um, in the Belfast School from 1907 and then he went back to Russia in 1917 became a foreign minister for Joseph Stalin and took part in the Bolshevik Re Revolution so quite an interesting factor I thought quite an interesting person who, who lived in Belfast too so the next famous person is the famous Hollywood actor Errol Flynn who started movies from the 30s up until the late 50s um, he's quite quite a famous for being playing a pirate or a swashbuckler in a lot of his films but he also played like Robin Hood and other characters too he's also quite a Lothario um, quite uh, popular with uh, ladies and he was had a bit of a reputation because of this but he apparently lived in uh, Belfast in 1821 as well his father actually taught in Queen's University and he went to Inst um, during this time so uh, he apparently lived in Shrewsbury Park which is I think up Antrim Road direction number 4 Shrewsbury Park and he apparently wrote on his wall some uncomplimentary uh, uh, sort of words about one of his fellow female co-stars. Co now, I don't know if that is still there, but if you happen to be listening to me and you live in Fort Shrewsbury Park, maybe you can confirm or deny. Maybe they've kept it just for historical purposes, but I'm going to think it's probably been painted over. So that's my facts for today. Hope you enjoyed those. Um, you may not know who those people are like, but they're still quite interesting characters who live in Belfast or lived in Belfast at the time. Um, if you have any other facts or like weird trivia or anything else that you think we may not be able to find online or through through books and things, um, then fire it across us in our DMs and we'll be sure to, to read that out hopefully in future. Um, but if you're enjoying this, please uh, let us know. Um, let us know also what other sort of content you would like us to sort of feature on this page. I kind of want to keep keep things going. Like even though I can't get outside and around the usual historical spots, I would like to still continue on with this sort of thing on the channel um, and on the page. So yeah, fired across. I'm thinking maybe doing the Insta Live at some point because everybody else is, let's be honest with you. So um, if you have any topics you want me to discuss on that, if you are at all interested, don't know if you are, but if you are, then I'm fired across mm -hmm. too. And yeah, hopefully see you guys soon. See you later. Stay safe.